Operation Kingslayer. It's a hell of a thing. Hell of an operation, really. The United States government sent in ghosts as an invisible method of dismantling the Santa Blanca drug cartel. One of the most dangerous drug cartels in the world. This, this cartel was looking to make an entire country a drug country. It's like, uh, Outer Haven of Metal Gear Solid, but, uh, with drugs. Anyway, I, I figured that the ghosts, as effective as they are, they weren't doing enough. So I decided to up and leave the ghosts. Leave Ghost Recon and join with Unidad. Because Unidad, they are the ones truly making a difference in Bolivia. You see, when the cartels first moved into Bolivia, the president of Bolivia created Unidad. Because law enforcement didn't have the resources or manpower to be effective. So, in response, that's why he created the Special Operations Division. La Unidad. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's a crock of shit. <laughs> Unidad is in bed with the cartel, big time, and I'm not joining Unidad. Ah, I'm just fucking with you. No, no, I am infiltrating Unidad. That's why I've got this uh, Unidad get up on. I mean, I may say La Unidad on my shoulder and my patches, but I'm not La Unidad. I'm the ghost! And as a ghost, my job is to blend in. And with what we're going to be doing in this live stream, this adventure in Ghost Recon Wildlands, there's only one way I can blend in, and that is becoming one of the Unidad. So not only are we going to start to infiltrate the base, center of operations, headquarters of Unidad, but uh, we're also going to steal the best gun, debatably the best gun, of Ghost Recon Wildlands. And of course, I am talking about the uh, Mark 17. Otherwise known as the FN Scar H. And it's smack dab in the middle of an enormous Unidad base. So, uh, I'll drive. yeah, we got plausible deniability. It's not the United States oh, cool. and her cool. interest that's invading Unidad, especially, you know, the HQ of Unidad. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's a rogue Unidad special officer, agent, man, person. Yours truly. So, uh, we're gonna grab this FN. Uh, we're gonna grab this Scar H, and then afterward, we're gonna hightail it to uh, whatever our operator, whatever our handler wants us to do. In fact, let's go ahead and pull up our briefing. If I know how to do that, I think it's in Kingslayer Files. Yeah, here it is. Major General Barrow is a patriot. He runs Unidad, the Bolivian military police force from main operating base Jaguar in Florida Oro. When Santa Blanca first arrived in Bolivia, they went to war with Unidad. Innocent civilians got caught in the crossfire. The death toll was tremendous. Faro had seen a lot of death in his life and was desperate to bring peace back to his country. So he brokered a backroom deal between El Sueño and the Bolivian government. Unidad agreed to look the other way and let Santa Blanca run their business. In exchange, the cartel promised to keep their killings to a minimum. Obviously, the results have been a mixed bag. The relationship between Santa Blanca and Unidad is tense. Now that Bolivia has become a full-fledged narco state, I believe that he is starting to regret his decision. Major General Barro is either one of our most dangerous enemies or our greatest ally. There's only one way to find out which. Looks like it's time to place your bets. I am gonna say he's gonna be... Uh, cartel's gonna kill him, but he's gonna be our ally. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, it could easily be that uh, he just... He, he tells us to go fuck ourselves. I could see that, but... Uni we'll see. Dad's darkest secrets are hidden on a server at Mob Jaguar. Infiltrate the base, hack the server, and get me those files. I'm gonna turn these assholes inside out. Oh man, you're saying all the right things. She is a wonderful operator. She is almost, almost as good as the operator you have in Splinter Cell. Even though her name escapes me. So, I guess we're gonna infiltrate and uh, grab those files while we are grabbing that weapon, which should be right here where my marker is. If I remember correctly, that's where the Scar H is. Alright. <laughs> Let's fall out. Oh shit, this is actually the HQ. I thought we were gonna be infiltrating the HQ after this uh, outlying military base, but nope, nope, this is the real deal. Right here. Watchtowers, warehouses. Is that a heliport? 
Bowman's intel is up to snuff. The data center's somewhere underground. Let's go find the basement. Jesus. We're already here. I don't know if I'm ready for this. All right, uh, let's send in the drones. One in doubt? Drones Survey from this guy. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a really heavily armed base, especially Sniper, of it being the their HQ. I mean, it's five skulls, so this is about as difficult as they come in Bolivia, Heads anyway. Up, this is basically their Fort Knox. Oh, sh makes oh five. shit. Oh, shit! They have an assault helicopter. <laughs> thing looks dangerous. Hey, a soldier with a submachine gun near the container. Yeah. We're not infiltrating from this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not suicidal. We're gonna be smart about this. We're gonna try to... I know I've gone Rambo in the past and goes with Wildlands. And that is a legitimate strategy if you want to go in guns blazing, triggering every single alarm, you can do that, but I'm not gonna do that. In this... This live stream, particularly, right here, right now... Shit. We're gonna go off-road. Ironically, we're going off-road in a versus suspicion, which usually would do the opposite, but... We almost got uh, attacked by one of the cartel cars. Anyway, I think we're safe now. But yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna go full stealth in this live stream. Alright, I wanna do this right. And in my opinion, playing Ghost Recon right is playing with strategy, playing it with stealth, being nice and slow, and best of all, tactical espionage. That's the OG Ghost Recons. You know what? That's the Ghost Recons that I grew up on. So. I'm going to respect the franchise. I'm going to play it the way it was originally meant to be played. And, you know, I'm just going to stop here. Park along the side of the road. Toss the keys to one of these natives. Get rid of the van. Get rid of all evidence. I wish I could do that. How awesome would it be if I could just walk past one of these uh, one of these women and just toss the keys? Like, hey, get that van out of my sight. You can, you can keep it. You can do whatever you want with it. I just don't want to see it again. Okay, this is the place. Now, it's a lot bigger than it looks. I mean, we've got some factories over there. I don't know if they're woodworking factories or what, but check this out. See that uh, fencing over there? Even this fencing over here, this area is currently under construction, but that has been finalized. That's finished. And the base goes all the way from there to there. And finally, here, which is pretty enormous. This may be one of the biggest bases inside of the open world, which is pretty exciting, but also pretty intimidating. We're going to figure out exactly which way we're going to infiltrate this place. I'm not exactly sure where Blackside is. We have to gain access to the underground data center. I think it's underneath where we're headed right now. We're not actually heading to enter. We're heading to scout. Scouting is just as important as infiltrating. If you have a good scouting mission, infiltration is going to be smooth as butter. If you have a bad scouting mission, you're going to end up going Rambo, and we... Ladies and gentlemen, we are not going Rambo because uh, I'm not doing things that way. What format is this on? I, it looks like I'm playing this on uh, Xbox, but I swear, David, guys in the chat room, all you guys watching, Target not spotted. just the ones that ans asked that question, I, I'm not playing on Xbox. I'm playing gun. on PC. Number three. I try to play on PC as much as I can for you guys so I can give you the best looking visual experience. And yeah, I'm actually playing at a 2K resolution, 1440p with all graphic settings cranked up to maximum. And of course, I'm streaming at YouTube's highest bit rate, so you're not gonna find a better looking live stream of Ghost Recon Wildlands, period. Now, let's hope we won't find a better stealth play. Which I know, as the words are coming out of my mouth, that'll be a goddamn lie. All right, we're gonna go inside of the hospital. Just, we gotta check every single building. We'll check comms next. Hospital looks clear. Battery's holding up pretty well. Signal's okay. Right, comm center is wide open. That's what I like to see. Looks like all the men that are staffing this place are currently stationed around the outside. Not seeing many on the insides of buildings. Right, we're about to run out of battery. Let's reposition ourselves. We're gonna go further into the compound. That way, you know, we don't lose signal strength. Keep an eye out for that sniper. We want to take him down as soon as possible. I don't think any of these other watchtowers are actually situated to keep an eye on this perimeter here. So, we're lucky as far as that's concerned. Otherwise, our ass would be bacon. Yeah, look at that. Sniper, top of the tower. Thank God. They're sniper watching the, the forest tower. line. Lucky for us. 
I don't know if it's gonna stay that way, so let's just hurry our asses up. Wait, wait. Helicopter incoming. Shit. All right, so uh, we got a mortar man over there. We got a helicopter up above. Helicopter is—he's uh, really gonna push my shit in if I let him. We gotta watch out. And we also gotta watch out for that mortar man. If he turns around, we're screwed. I think his orders are to watch the road, so we may be good. Hey, I need that sniper. Damn, yeah, these guys have gillies. Shit. Can't see a radar jammer. All right, well, uh, we're gonna have to go in blinds. If I see the jammer, let's see if I can uh, go up high enough. Circumvent the whole thing. Yeah, I have no eyes on that jammer. I don't know if I'm blind or I what. Eyes on an air defense system. I'm thinking the jammer must be inside of that building over there. We got a SAM site. Not that much. Well, I guess we spotted all we can. Moving. First things first. I don't know where the hell that black side is, but damn it, we're getting our weapon. I need that Scar H, especially if we want to execute this five skull difficulty mission. That's gonna be tough shit. We're gonna make sure that we dispose of these guys whilst they're recovering. Otherwise, we're just gonna be making bodies that the other soldiers can find. I think this is. Oh. Fuck! Beautiful, just working our way through this thing like a hot knife through butter. Now the weapon's gonna be at the back of the compound, so we gotta get a bit of a trek before we actually reach it. But I got a question for the chat room. Wait. Fuck, we got two guards. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Let's send the drone out. They probably change positions. The drone is up. I'd like to take some of these guys down, but I just don't trust leaving the bodies. Something I really like to add to this game. If I had to, if I had to request the feature for Ghost Recon Wildlands, which I'm I'm enjoying it a lot. I didn't think I would like this game when I played the beta. I mean, I, I liked it okay, but I didn't think I would enjoy playing it as much as I am. Here's target number because five. Because it's not like the classic Ghost Recon games, but I don't mind that. It's its own thing. Now, I wouldn't mind if we got a Ghost Recon game and, you know, Wildlands-esque game. If we had both, that'd be great. But um, I'm really happy with this. I'm really liking it. And it's just a 180 from my opinions on it during the beta, but... Anyway, what I would really like would be the ability to move bodies. Drag them, you know, uh, pick them up, throw them on my shoulder, toss them in a dumpster. You know, that's important. That's very, very important. Sam Fisher could do it, why can't I? Alright, I'm being a little risky here. In fact, I'm being more than a little Jump risky, right but what the hell. And we are good. Just hug those corners. It's so funny. I'm dressed up as a dad, man. I just just walk through the middle of this base. You know, who the hell cares? I'm a dad. Oh, I can just suspect my ass. Shit. Shit, that was close. Luckily, I'm using a high enough caliber where I can get chest shots in. Woo. Oh man. All right, now we got a really haul ass. It's T-minus haul ass H hour. And there's bodies in the middle of the street in front of OK Corral. Ah, what the hell is this? You see this? That is... Oh, shit. I think that's an accessories case. Fuck. We got two in the dab moving through the center. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to move on. Back to the question that I have for you. Uh, chat room? Comment section? Whichever one of you happens to be watching right now. Uh, do you own guns? Case I, I'm here. a big fan of guns. I don't just enjoy them in video games. Oh fuck yeah. This is the storehouse. This is the storehouse. Anyway, I don't just enjoy weapons in video games. I enjoy them in real life. I really like firearms. Uh, do you guys own guns? What guns do you own? Do you prefer cowboy shooters? That's what I prefer personally. I like modern firearms, of course. They're, they're works of art, really, of uh, engineering. But yeah, what, what kind of guns do you like? If you own guns, what guns do you own? I'd be interested to know that. Also, uh, give me your address and what time's your home. Come on, baby. I've been wanting one of these. Oh, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, Mark 17. I'm gonna swap out the M40. I'm gonna keep the G36C. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check this thing out. Mmm. Mmm. One of the best weapons of the game right here. I already have an underbarrel for it. Grenade launcher. B-52. 
beautiful. All right, what else do I got? I would really like that extended magazine. We'll have to find that later because we don't have that currently. Um, what about the muzzle? Yeah, let's put that suppressor on. Competitor's nice, but uh, we're going silent for this mission. A lot of you guys own shotguns. You know, I, I want to own a shotgun, but I like plinking so much that I want cheap ammo. And I, I, uh, I'm loading some of my own ammunition. I'm, uh, 45 Colt. I reloaded myself. Because it's like 50 cents a shot if I don't. But I can't, as far as I can tell, reload, uh, buckshot. Maybe slugs. I don't think so. But it seems a little expensive for someone that just wants to target shoot. And I don't hunt, you know? Uh, maybe it would be worth the price if I was, uh, shooting those clay targets that you shoot out in the air. That would be pretty legit. That would be pretty fun. But... I shoot a lot of steel targets, you know, AR-500, 550 steel, and I go for cheap rounds, you know, 38 special, reloaded, 45 long, cold, about 70 cents, 17 cents a round. Uh, 22 is super cheap, man. I see some of you guys have 22s. Oh, shit, I bought like uh, 3,000 rounds of 22 for like 100, 200 bucks, I got one and that 3,000 rounds is going to last a bit. That's going to last a bit. It's going to last a little while. Ooh, Ruger 45. Man, Rugers are gonna last you a lifetime if you take care of them right. Rugers are awesome. I like Rugers. I was thinking about a Vaquero, okay, but I, I like that four clicks when you pull back the hammer, you know. C O L T. I like that. I like that. Rugers are great, though. Fantastic handguns. <laughs> Somebody says I got a PS4. Yo, man, that's a, that's a wonderful gun. You got every single gun you could imagine in all kinds of different games. All right, so we have to gain access to that underground data center because we, we got our gun. We got what we infiltrated for. They didn't even see us come in or out. They'll probably find the body soon, so uh, where the hell is this? Unidad's darkest secrets are hidden on a server at Mob Oh, shit. Denver. It's here. Infiltrate the base, hack the server, and get me those files. It's, I'm going to turn it's these out. It's in the mountain. Out. It's here, or it's here, because I saw an entrance uh, that goes in the mountain right at the end of this trail. We're going to check this out first. We'll survey it. If we don't see anything, we'll double back onto the original position where we entered this entire area, and we'll, uh, we'll infiltrate it. We'll go inside of the mountain, see if we can find that uh, data center. They say underground, but they don't necessarily mean straight down. You know, if it's in the mountain, I think that still counts. <laughs> Sniper. Right, so watch out Top for that sniper. Luckily, I think the heli patrols have uh, backed off a little bit, so that's good. Mate, is the uniform already available? I'm guessing you're asking about the Unidad uniform. Yes, it is. I actually don't know how I got it. Ubisoft sent me a copy of the game. I was going to buy it anyway, but hey, if they want to lose money. <laughs> Anyway, Ubisoft sent me a gold edition. I don't know if it's included in the gold edition, but I just, uh, I signed in a few days ago and noticed that I had it, and I liked it, and I thought that it would be the perfect time for us to join in a dad by infiltrating it and taking it down from the inside. That's why we're doing some Unidad missions. Unfortunately, it's a five skull territory, so it's really dangerous. It's, uh, it's one of the more dangerous areas in the entire map, because we are smack dab at Unidad headquarters. Right here, right now, and it's it's getting real. We just stole uh, Scar H, and it's a beautiful gun. Mm, FM, man. They make some legit firearms. At some point... Oh, shit, wait. Fuck. All right, let's be careful about this. Let's go prone. So check this out. Uh, I think I see some stairs leading down. Let's send a drone out. I totally forgot I have this thing. Target carrying submachine guns. This is the place. It's gotta be it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit, that goes down really far. Okay, we have found the underground data center. Holy shit. I thought it was the other place. I was wrong. This is quite literally underground. Enemy All right, uh, let's focus. We gotta survey the area, see where we got guards. You don't want any loose ends here. Run out of battery power. I think I got all of them spotted. Yeah, yeah, that should be it. We'll figure out how we do this. Should probably get the guys furthest away first. So, my plan is 
Once the uh, heavy defender turns around, I shoot the guy behind him. He doesn't notice. Then I shoot the guy closest to me, and then we shoot the defender. Sounds like a plan. Beautiful headshot. Beautiful. Shit, I wasted another bullet. Should've been one shot, one kill. They're not suspecting us, so that's good. Very good. I should've went for a sink shot, man. Alright, whatever. Let's go in. Damn, I love this gun. I've used it for only two kills, three shots. But... Mm, it feels nice. I'm a fan. Yo, you guys weren't lying when you were saying this was your favorite gun in Ghost Recon Wildland. Well, not all of you were saying that, but a decent number of you were. I don't think this is the way in. Shit. Wait, we got a way in. Thank God. We gotta kill that uh, heavy before he finds the bodies. Otherwise, we're in deep shit. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. He's coming up on that body now. Beautiful. You know, it's almost a damn shame I didn't use my FN. That's okay. We'll take a little look around, make sure we didn't miss any equipment that we could use. And I'm pretty sure I spotted everybody, but let's still sweep and clear, you know? You can't be too careful. I like to play this game as if I'm actually there. I like to... I like to be as hey, serious as possible. Right. Sometimes I go yeah, crazy, but I'd, I'd rather do it self. I'd rather be careful and... Yeah, just treat your character's life like it's your life, you know? And the game gets a lot more fun. Oh, shit, I forgot about this. Data center may be down here. Let's see where this tunnel leads us. The developers of Ghost Recon actually contacted me, and I... They asked me uh, if... If I was actually good at playing the game. And they put some challenges forth onto me that I can, uh, I can perform if I choose. So, I got challenged. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm gonna. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna, it's not like I'm gonna fight. I, th I, th I, th I think I'm gonna go through the guys. I think I will. There's a couple different challenges. They're all designed to be as hard as they can be to uh, really test my resolve, test my limits. And I don't know. It sounds like it'd be cool. So I think I'm gonna do it. I wonder how deep this thing goes. You know, I probably could have used grenades, grenade launchers. Oh. Shit, in a cell helicopter, they wouldn't have heard anything this far down. The world's best suppressor. Jesus, this goes really far, doesn't it? So, when we were looking from the uh, uh, ground level, it looked like it went really deep, and I think we're nearing the floor. Let's see. Yep. Yep, here we are. I think our drone can fly down here, but I'm not sure. Beautiful. Take a little look, see, see if we can find him. Alright, looks clear. I don't even know if this is the data center, I'm gonna assume it is. Wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, we're still underground, cool. Oh shit. Enemy spotted. Alright, looks like we actually have a lot of hostiles. Damn, this place is big. So this is what the unit has been keeping themselves busy with, huh? Like a bunch of damn gophers. But that's all for battery power, so we just gotta move in blind. Well, not completely blind. It's ironic because uh, technically we're kind of blind as a bat right now. Because we can, you know, we can see in the dark. We got night vision. Oh, fast on night vision, they click, and then the sounds bounce off of walls. That's how they know where they are, where they're flying. So that was a really, really stupid analogy I just made. Still no close to that data server. Just looks like storage down here. I get this game for thirty dollars, so worth it for me. Shit, man, thirty bucks for this game would be a great price. I don't know uh, if that's an yeah, average sale price that you can find this. Right about that stack of tires. It's. Oh shit! Nice, nice. My boys are spotting them for me. I'm, c I'm taking point. I'm moving in solo, but uh, I do have some teammates surveying other parts of the base. I spotted somebody by tires, so I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. I think I might turn the HUD off. Anyway, uh, yeah. I mean, if you can get this game for 30 bucks, that's great. Because it released pretty recently, and apparently this game is selling gangbusters. It's selling really well. 
it's number one in the charts in a bunch of different countries. And it deserves it. It really deserves I don't even think that Mass Effect Andromeda knocked this game's stride. I think this game is still number one. Mass Effect, uh, it, I don't think it could topple Ghost Recon Wildlands. Which is a pretty amazing thing. I'm a Ghost Recon Wildlands fan from, I mean, Ghost Recon fan from back in the day. So it's nice to see that Ghost Recon has hit its stride again, because Future Soldier didn't do that well. I didn't enjoy it that much. Uh, Advanced Warfighter I really liked. Graw, Graw 2. Those were great. Of course, the old school Ghost Recons uh, back in the PS2, original Xbox. Those are the tops. You know, the true OGs. Wait a second. Alright, we found them. Those are the servers. But we've got a few hostiles between us and that, so... Let's just systematically move up there. We're not in a rush. If we were in a rush, I guarantee you it would take 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 maybe minutes longer because we'd die. We'd have to restart the whole damn thing because we, we screwed up. You know, if you're good enough at stealth, higher difficulties don't make all that much of a difference. Because if you're not seeing the first place, a lot of times you won't see the higher difficulties. So it doesn't always affect uh, patrolling, it doesn't always affect numbers. A lot of the time it affects uh, health. Their armor, their helmets, count for more. Alright, let's just be easy with this guy. Whoa. Oh, I'm so screwed. <gasps> We're suspected. Shit, there's somebody on the inside. Come on. Make my day. Alright, he's not coming out. He's not coming out. They aren't sure what the hell they heard. I really fucked that up. Fuck. Well, I didn't fuck it up yet. <laughs> I'm one foot in the fuck up grave. Alright, we had to head inside of that building ASAP, because I don't know who the hell is in there, but if they got teammates in there, they're going to see that body in no time. We have to wipe them out. All of them. There's a cartel medal over here. It's going to break some poor thug's heart to lose this. Thank God. It's all clear. Is this the medal? This medal has a coca plant on it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, baby! Yeah, that is kind of cool. Uh, the, the coca plant, there's nothing wrong with that. Now it makes Coca-Cola. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with that. High fructose corn syrup and all that. What the hell? Whoa, whoa, that is trippy. Seeing those dots? What the? That's fucking with me. That's what the? F yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna look away from that. That's making my eyes all crazy. Anything back here? Nah, we're good. This place is surprisingly understaffed. I guess they figured we wouldn't get past the entrance. That's why I have insurance. Their insurance sucks. Yeah, alright, cool, we're clear. We're gonna explore that a little more, but first, uh, let's just get to the server and let's, uh, let's finish the first part of this mission. Nice and easy. I don't know if anybody's upstairs. We haven't made a lot of noise, so, uh, we wouldn't have drawn anybody out yet. Here's the terminal with access to the main system. I'm in. Pull security while I upload all these files to Bowman. There's a shit ton of data here. Data transferring. Maintain the perimeter. Maintain the perimeter? They know that I'm here. If they don't know that I'm here, how the hell am I going to maintain the perimeter? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Did we give our position away? Shit. Shit. Dear God. Oh, where the fuck did he come from? Oh, God damn. Oh, God damn. Uh, yeah, let's get behind cover. Oh, fuck. Man down. Yo, I didn't even see where that gunfire was coming from. I don't have any eyes on that computer. Oh, this whole thing is just going south. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Where the hell are these guys? All right, I see them down below. Oh, shit. They don't have eyes on me right now. Beautiful. God damn it. I just didn't have been a mess. I'm getting rusty. Alright, looks like they're going up to the stairs. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Alright, that's one of them. 
Let's see where the stairs are. So I didn't realize it, but oh sh shit! I didn't realize it, but apparently once we started the hacking procedure, uh, we opened ourselves up to um all of their scanners. We're just lighting this place up like a goddamn Christmas tree. They know our position. Uh, they are assaulting that position hard, and I'm getting my shit pushed in over here. Ten seconds remaining. We still have more of our livings than that remaining, so uh, let's. Holy shit, mother of God! Sweet baby Moses covered in maple syrup. There's a lot of baddies. All right, my men are moving up on me. I got a little more backup now. God damn. Yeah. I definitely see why this is a uh, five-star difficulty now. This place is a this place is an army base. It's an underground army base, and they have a limitless supply of goons. Good. Bowman's got everything worth getting. Let's go. Thank fuck. Oh, there's still more of them. There, there is still more of them. Holy shit, they got an armored truck. One with some machine guns. Alright, we're moving out the back. We're going out the back. Just be nice and quiet. They won't even see us leave. No signs of the enemy? What about the 50 bodies I'm leaving behind? <laughs> so, uh, one of that headquarters is a hell of a lot bigger than I initially thought. I'm just gonna go back up the way I came. I, I killed all the guys at the entrance. I don't know if they have backup right now. They have helicopters up above. Two of them at least. But, shit. I mean, if they're still dead at the entrance, we're good. And this will be a lot easier leaving than it was coming in. Except for those healers, of course. God, I hate that helis. the worst. And since this is the HQ, they got a, an assault helicopter nearby. I'm pretty sure it's got missile pods. No way in hell I'm dealing with missile pods. I was kind of wondering where all the soldiers were at the supposed headquarters the unit had. Yes, we found out. We pulled some interesting intel from that data hack. What have we got? General Barrow's former aide is in jail. Turns out he knew a little too much about Unidad's dirty laundry, so Barrow locked him up. You set him free. You might feel like sharing Shit. the secrets he has on his old boss. That dog will hunt. We also found information Shit. that assets we have placed within Unidad may be exposed. Somehow, some Santa Blanca mook found out who they are, and he's planning to name them to a Unidad captain named Iglesia. You have to silence this cartel informer. We got a location on the target? Negative, but we have a location on the Unidad captain. Find him, tail him to his meet with the Santa Blanca informer, then take out the informer. Roger that. Let us know if you pull anything else from that data hack. Shit, I'm assassinating people now? You know, uh, when the president of Bolivia made deals with the cartels, and he overhauled the police force and created uh, what is now known as the Unidad, the Unidad basically works as his black hand. They assassinate journalists, they, um, they silence journalists, they uh, uh, assassinate um, uh, uh, embassy officials, and they also assassinate the different reasoning uh, governors of Bolivia that threatened to expose El Presidente for the chill that he really is supporting the cartels. And now I'm kind of doing the same thing, but for a good cause, I guess. All right, this is where we gotta head off to. The mole. One of our agents within Unidad has been exposed. A cartel operative is set to meet with his Unidad contact to give up the agent's identity. We can't let that happen. Follow the Unidad officer to his meet, and eliminate the operative. Yeah, I guess it's a good cause. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> we got two Unidad helicopters coming after us, but... Shit, man. We got an armored car and a big-ass minigun on top, so... If this doesn't protect us, I don't know what will. Hopefully we can lose these bastards. Trying to go off-road. This might be a bad idea. Oh, God. Oh, God, yes. Oh, shit! Oh, that's a bad idea. Yep. 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 Damn it! Locate the unit that captain without being detected. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Shit. 
Shit. I <laughs> got just tossed a grenade and sat on it. I think you know where I'm going. Yeah, baby. I'm going straight for that assault helicopter. I, mean, I fell ass backwards in this place. I may as well use that to my advantage, right? Oh, yeah. You're going to do nicely. Check it out, baby! We got ourselves a gunship! Well, let's just hope and pray that I'm a sand launcher. No, they do not. Holy crap. Oh my god! Yes! Woo! <laughs> oh, I love it! I don't know how the hell I aim it, though. There are no crosshairs. Aiming with helicopters is truly hell. Oh, this is, this is so bad. This ain't gonna end well. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, we got one of them. Just need one more. Shit. How many missiles I got anyway? Yes! Yes! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We took care of all the helicopters. All we have to do is get the hell out of Dodge, reach a safe LZ, and then we uh, contact the unit that captain. Well, we kill him due to that captain without being detected. Maybe easier said than done. Especially because we are uh, four out of three out of four marks, but somehow we did lose him. Let's take this thing down a little ways away from the base. We don't want to raise any suspicion. It's a pretty good place. the way, for you guys that are just joining in, uh, this. This is the Unidad, uh, what is it called? Co costume? Outfit? Okay, it's called a costume. I wouldn't call it a costume because it looks like the real thing. It's legit. What is that? What, would you pick this up from Ruby's? Halloween warehouse? No, come on, that's not a costume. It's the real thing. We are playing dress up, though, because we aren't really part of the Unidad. If we were, we would be helping drug uh, lords, we would be helping drug cartels, we're not doing that. We're killing them from the inside out. We're disguised as the Unidad. Heavy. And uh, this is our disguise, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's actually really cool looking. Let me see if I can show you guys exactly how cool it is. With Nvidia Ansel. It's a little dark because there's no sun on this side of the mountain, but it is a really nice uniform, I gotta say. As evil as the, Qatar, the cartels are, as evil as the Unidad is, and as evil as the president of Bolivia is, they certainly know how to dress their guys. It's, it's kind of like the Nazis. Nobody likes the Nazis, but you can still like their uniforms. They're snazzy. They're Hugo Boss, for God's sake. They look pretty good as a result. Even though uh, they weren't doing good things. Same with the Unidad. I don't know if they're comparable to Nazis, but maybe... I mean, cartels in real life. I don't know if you've ever read about cartels, real life cartels, or uh, watched documentaries, but they will actually cut the heads off of civilians and hang them in the streets. Hang headless bodies in the streets. Put their heads on pikes. And put them near women and children, near uh, civilian cities. Civilian towns is a warning not to fuck with the cartel. And that's sick shit. That is really sick. They will kill masses of innocent people. I don't get it. Do you really need to do all that stuff to stay in power? Can't you just like, I don't know, make cocaine and give it away for free every once in a while? Everybody will be happy. You don't need to do all this macho head game crap. Was that a gas mask on the character's face? Yes! I believe that is a gas mask on my face. Unless it's also something else. Yo, eyes on the ground. The checkpoint, over there. I don't see a checkpoint. Talking about the watchtower? Oh, shit. Never mind, I see it. Uh, oh, fuck. Actually, I see multiples. Let's just send the drone out. So, we got a sniper up in the watchtower, sniper but I think we have a uh, patrolman on the base of it. Oh, actually, the base is clear. Okay, let's take out that sniper. I can actually spot him, that is. Alright, new plan. Take a bit of high ground. Nice. 
nice. Alright, sniper's been dealt with. Anyway, for those guys that are just joining up, welcome. It's good to have you with me for this. Shit! Oh, son of a bitch! Locate the unit at caps without being detected. Yep! Uh, check that one off the list! He just does not want to stop spotting tower. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go with no lethals. No lethals. Let's just locate the unit at captain, and uh, that's that. That's all there is to this mission. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Confirming target as La Unidad contact. It's gonna lead us to the Santa Blanca informant. Oh shit! There he is. Clean and by the numbers. Liga, you have something good this time. That last chip was mierda. Yankee spies in La Unidad? How many? Listo, listo. Ten thousand dollars. No, I can't meet there. Meet me at the shack in the mountains. Bueno. I wonder how many assets Bowman has out here. Hell, if they're playing on our team, I'm not gonna complain when we gotta go save them. True. We find the Unidad captain and kill the cartel informer he meets with. Alright, where's this captain going anyway? Just a simple tail job, snoop and poop, shouldn't be too difficult. Just gotta make sure we see which vehicle he's going into. Oh, a lot of them out here. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be that truck. Shit. We don't have an extraction vehicle. That could be a problem. Alright, I'm gonna have the drone recharge. Once the drone is recharged, we'll send him back out, but... We have just enough time to recharge that drone before he gets into the vehicle, and, uh... Let's use that time wisely. Oh shit, no, he's, he's going legit. He's going in an armored truck. Please don't pick the one with the minigun. No, he's going in the... Yeah, he is going in the armored truck with the minigun. That's just great! Alright, we got the vehicle. Let's, uh, let's get a vehicle of our own. And we gotta be real snappy about this. What the hell are you doing? This little farmer lady is walking away from him at that base. Next to the checkpoint. And she's El Sueño. She's El Sueño, just... He's wearing a wig. He's... <laughs> he's wearing a moo moo. A little farmer's hat. They're gonna see you. Hold up. Oh shit, there he goes, there he goes. Oh fuck. Oh, come on! Alright, he's going, he's going. He's moving. Chat room. I hope you guys are right about this. Let's One go. of you guys said that if we're in an Unidad vehicle, me. they won't be able to spot us as easily. So, I'm crossing my fingers, my life is in your hands. It really is, because uh, I may have to kill myself by playing Hello Kitty's Island Adventure and decaying all of my brain cells one by one. I don't want to have to do that. Alright. Fuck! Someone almost spotted us, so I'm gonna assume that theory was bullshit. Thanks a lot! THANKS A LOT, CHAT ROOM! Anyway... Let's tail this guy nice and easy. Let's, uh, put a good car between us and him. Shit, it's not like we're telling somebody in New York City, you know? It's not that hard. It's Bolivia. How many people can afford cars? There's not gonna be that many cars on the road. <laughs> that was insensitive, I'm sorry. I mean, with all that cocaine, you think they're coming? We'd be doing better. Is that a national park? Oh shit! It's uh, it's a logging company. Right, we're lagging behind. It's kind of a little blow here. You know, you think you'd be a little suspicious about an Unidad vehicle with an Unidad fucking soldier driving it, following him. All right, is he good? Is he moving in? No, he's driving straight past Unidad base. So uh, let's do the same. You got? Oh fuck! Oh fire, fire, fuck! Fire. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo! <laughs> They're suspecting us, but they haven't spotted us. Oh man, that was a double threat. We not only drove past the base, but we drove past the Unidad patrol as well. Wow. We haven't gotten this far. I feel like Tom Cruise and Live Down Repeat. Or uh, Bill Murray in Groundhog Day, you know, we haven't we simply haven't gotten this far before what do we do now. <laughs> what the hell do we do? I guess we just follow this guy. 
Apparently, he's going up to the mountains, up to a shack to meet somebody. Compromise the identity of one of our agents. So, we should be getting close. Is it the shack? I think it is. We'll know if it stops. Yep, this is the place. All right, let's get out. I'm looking real snazzy. Look at that. Only that, baby. They won't even know that I'm not one of their own. Oh shit, that's a cartel base. You can tell by the white tank top. Trademark of drug dealers and gangbangers. Let's not let them spot us. Not going through this whole shebang again. You know, let's just kill him. Fuck. Okay, we're still getting right. rusty. We're still good. I have a silenced weapon. It's a Scar H. They didn't hear shit. Kill the cartel informer. Is that him? I got eyes on the Santa Blanca informer. Let's take him out. Beautiful. All right, let's go for a sink shot. Yo, my boy uh, Dutch. Dutch will take him. Scooter will watch Dutch and I while Ready we're taking the shot, and I'll take the informer out. Tango down, tango down. Oh fuck Cartel yeah! Informer is dead. Fuck Arnaz yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! That was a beautiful operation. Oh, let's just uh, let's just wreak havoc, man. Let's take them all out. We got, got a, a few defenders. Defenders down. Grunts down. Oh shit, that's bulletproof glass, isn't it? Yeah, they got bulletproof glass. Are they gonna get out? Oh shit, they're getting out. I saw the door open. Oh shit, what the hell is your problem, bro? Hey, why would you climb the fence? Oh, he was in the clear. He was in the fucking clear. What an idiot. All right, we were a little messy about that. Not the operation. The operation went beautifully, okay? but as soon as the objective was gone, we, didn't, we just didn't care anymore. Just open fire. And you know what? That was fun. That was a lot of fun. They were running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Ooh, skill points. Definitely skill points. So what is that, like a special CIA phone? Oh, disgusting. Just leaving the meat sitting on the counter. Not even a cutting board. Savages! Some good steaks, too. Is this their porn? Oh my god! Look at the guns on her. Shit, she could snap me in half any day. What else we got here? Got a real uh, luchador fetish going on. Interesting. You know, it's funny. Uh, if they don't have a luchador mask on, they scratch the face off. That's weird. That's awfully weird. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta see one. Add that to our inventory. You know what? That's not a better gun than what we had. I don't know why I got this thing. This thing's terrible. It's a fun gun to shoot, though, in real life. Just like the grease gun. Grease gun is great. Actually, isn't the C1 uh, a rel close relative of the grease gun? There's a gun called the grease gun that was used, I believe, in World War II. And it was such a shitty gun. You had to grease it up, just slather it until it was thick with grease fat. Well, gun grease, really. Can't use animal fat for that. And it was so horribly inaccurate that you had to shoot it sideways. You know how gangsters hold their gaps sideways, which is a really stupid way to aim a gun and fire a gun? Well, uh, the grease gun, you didn't really have a choice. You had to do it that way. Right, let's do another one. General Barrow's former aide is being held in an Unidad stockade. Break him out and find out what he can tell us about Barrow's current location. Okay, sounds easy enough. Let's, uh, hit your ride and let's... Let's get her done. We had a helicopter. Riding in style, but you know what? I like this thing. Let's take the Doom Buggy again. It's a good thing we're rolling with some AI squad members. Dutch, Bob, and Scooter. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough seats for everybody. We couldn't even take this. Oh, shit! Let's see how off-road it really is! Obviously, even with a real off-road vehicle, which this is not. More like a dune buggy. Uh, you, you couldn't run it like this. You couldn't slam into trees and rocks. Maybe be a little smart about it. They're not indestructible. I thought that was a military base, but uh, it's not, so we're good. 
We're just gonna beat the hell out of this thing. That's pretty here in the objective. Let's see if it lasts. So I'm sure you guys already know about the whole teaser trailer thing that Hollywood's got going on now. They put a teaser out for teasers, and of course, teasers for trailers. And we just got a teaser for the Justice League trailer, which should be releasing within a week's time, maybe this Saturday, I, I think, I'm not sure on that. But the teaser was pretty sweet. We got an Aquaman teaser, we got a Batman teaser. I like the Batman teaser myself. Aquaman teaser is pretty cool, but the Batman teaser was legit. Looks like they're giving him like a silver crest on his chest, a silver bat. It's pretty cool. And we also sell the Batmobile again. I still don't know what that's called. I don't think they have a name for it. We just call the Batmobile, but damn, it's awesome. I could really go for another Batman Arkham game, but like revamped. Not under the Arkham name. Whole new thing. Uh, with Batflight Batman, with uh, the new Batcar, whatever that's called. Yeah, that would be legit. Alright, we're here. Jesus. This is a war tour this place up. <laughs> it's ironic. This part of town is war torn, but this is a regular part of town. This is a regular part of Bolivia. Now, the cartel's over there. And they got helicopters. They, they got a goddamn concrete castle. It's ugly as hell, but uh, it's, it's pretty legit. I don't know how we're getting in. But we gotta get in. And we gotta get somebody out. We gotta get in without being spot. Oh my god, is this a school? Holy shit, this is a school. You're gonna get made, hang back. Oh no. Oh no, I feel so bad. What is this? Is that mom and dad? Jesus Christ, I think that might be a troll. Alright, if we're gonna infiltrate this base silently, we can't use the 9mm C1. That's a suicide. Let's go with. Go to the Mark 17 that we have. I love this thing. We need to get some more uh, accessories for it, but we'll do an entire accessories getting live stream. <sighs> I really hope that at some point they're going to add a feature where these uniforms actually count for disguises. Because I would love to just throw into the base, you know, keeping a safe distance away from them. Maybe lag behind a patrol that's going back to the base and just sneak in them thinking that I'm part of the unit ad. Let's do this thing. That's where we gotta go. I don't see any entrances from the mini-map. It's, it's, it's too vague. So we'll just have to go in the old-fashioned way. And take out any snipers. The sniper, see. top of the tower. Beautiful. The current scope that we have in the FN-17, it's not really great for windage or bullet drop. We can't really... We can't really estimate any of that stuff, so we're just kind of going in blind. It's really dangerous. It is a fun gun. It's a really fun gun. This is a great scope for CQC. Also, bad helicopter. Gotta watch out for that. That's gonna be really dangerous. God, I hate those things. But yeah, it looks like some of you guys already saw that Batman. I, I know it was leaked. I didn't see the leak myself. Uh, I just saw the official poster, but the official poster looks awesome. I know what the internet thinks about I DC movies, but... Next to that crate of calm gear. You know what? I'm not even going to say this is a confession. This is not a confession. This is a statement. You know what? I'm proud to say it. I am a fan of DC movies, and I prefer them to Marvel movies. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. A lot of you guys prefer Marvel movies to DC movies, and that's okay. I get it. I understand it. But you know what's great? There's something for everybody, you know? You guys got your Marvel movies. I've got my DC movies. And those weirdos... I prefer the X-Men movies to DC and Marvel. They got that. They got that. So everybody has something. Now don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy myself a good Marvel movie. I enjoy myself a good X-Men movie. Even a bad X-Men movie. I like the Parkers. It was alright. It was alright. Shit. Shit. i be more careful. <laughs> patrol almost got us. Yeah, that back patrol right there. Holy shit, they got an airbase inside of this. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're not going into the main entrance. <laughs> I'm not suicidal. So let's let's find a, a breach in the wall. That's what we need. We really need a breach in the wall if we're gonna get inside. Shit, they got barbed wire. All right, we got a new problem. The new problem is 
If a patrol comes up on the road while we're running alongside this barbed wire before we find an opening, we're dead. I don't see him. Oh, oh shit! We are so screwed. Police headquarters. Yeah, okay. The uh, Oblivion Police Force is long gone. Now we just have the Unidad, which is the corrupt hand of the law. It's basically the snuff men. It's the president's uh, snuff men. They're very dangerous. Holy shit, we still haven't been spotted. If you're not going to be stealthy, you at least got to be quick on the draw. Luckily, we're pretty quick on the draw. And we're pretty stealthy, but where we lack in one department, we're more than enough uh, compensated in the other. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They can nice. pay us back later. You can always use more comms. Okay, good. This place is clear. Now we can uh, cross the street safely. As long as there's not a patrol nearby, which there isn't. Good. You know what? I got a new idea. Surely that chain link fence can't withstand this enormous truck, so we're just gonna make ourselves an entrance. I'll drive. How about that? I'll catch up with you. Excellent. That's a lot easier than I thought it would be. I don't like snipers. I take pleasure in picking them off. Alright, let's get this guy before we proceed. Hey, we got a grunt with a submachine gun. Beautiful. Still don't really see a breach in the wall. We'll keep searching. Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. All right, we got a breach in the wall. It's a little worn, so we know people have climbed up and over it. And also, there's no barbed wire, so it's a win-win. Yo, massive! Should I have my Ghost Recon or Horizon Zero Dawn? I'm guessing you have a PS4 in that case. Uh, gosh. Personally, they're very different games from one another. Ghost Recon Wildlands isn't about the campaign, although I think the story is fun. It's not a story-based game. Horizon Zero Dawn is. Ghost Recon Wildlands, in my opinion, has more replayability than Horizon Zero Dawn does. It's not to say you can't replay Horizon Zero Dawn, because you can. We can't actually climb that. Oh, hell yeah. We can't climb that. The drone is up. Those idiots. Good placement of boxes, assholes. If you got friends to play with, if you have friends that own Ghost Recon Wildlands or friends that would enjoy it, I would say hands down get Ghost Recon. But if you like a good story, and if you don't have a lot of friends that would play this game, then, uh, Jesus, this place Sniper is big. Up in the tower. Then I would definitely say get Horizon Zero Dawn, because you're Sniper not going to be disappointed either way. But, uh, it, it's really difficult to choose between the two because they're so good. Now, if one of them sucks, I mean, you'd have an easy decision, but that's just not the case. I guess we're good to, uh, go across, we're clear. As we can be, anyway. We should take out that defender ASAP. Or we could just sneak past him. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's just sneak past him. I have no idea where this rebel lieutenant is, but I'm going to assume he's near the important part of the base, which should be the center of the base. Oh, shit. You know what? I just missed uh, resources. Let's grab those resources. On the outside. Shit. We got too many eyes. <laughs> the problem with having this many eyes is that I can't kill them all. If I start to kill them all, and if I just mess up the order once, they're gonna spot the dead bodies, and I'm gonna be screwed. Also, where the hell are these supplies anyway? Oh, there's one. Com supplies. Oh, there's the other one. Beautiful. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. Can you play this game without online? Yes. What? Well, uh, shit. I don't know. I actually don't know. I... Oh yeah, yeah, you can because uh, sometimes uh, my internet was disconnected because I was having connection issues. They were working on the lines, and I was still allowed to play. So. Yeah, you don't need an uh, always online connection to play Ghost Recon Wildlands. Obviously, if you want to play co-op, you do. But if you just want to play with AI squad mates, you don't need that. 
I would be playing online right now, but I don't trust anybody, man. Sometimes I play better solo. You gotta know that you can trust your teammates. And if... Fuck. If I wasn't streaming, I would totally be okay with fucking around with some dudes. Uh, backtrack that. Shit! Shit! If I wasn't streaming, I would be okay with messing around with some people online that may or may not know what they're doing. I know that looks ironic right now. Shut up. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing some specific missions. I'm doing them in a specific way, and I, don't, I just don't trust online people right now. But, uh, fuck. If my girlfriend was home, we would definitely be doing co-op. Because it is legit, and it's awesome. This is one of the best co-op games there is. Holy shit, that's a huge explosion. But the AI squad mates aren't bad, is what I'm trying to say. God damn! Oh shit, they got a minigun. I'm so screwed. Oh great! Reinforcements! Thought they already sent the reinforcements. Alright, let's just move in. We gotta find this lieutenant and take him out fast. Oh, that's such bullshit. That's such bullshit, he just spawned out of nowhere. Damn it! Damn it! Don't even revive me. You know what, revive me. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna fight this thing. All right, this is the last life we got, so let's make it count. Appreciate that revive, my man. Who is that, Dutch? Thank you, Dutch. You're a sweetheart. You're great. Shit, they're gonna spot me because of the helicopter. Out. Oh. Yep. There we go. Fuck, 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 open that door. Oh my god, guys! Tank! Tank! I'm getting that gunner's position first. I'm gonna take out the snipers. Holy shit. Is that a gunship? Oh! What? It's like that Battlefield Bat Company 2 trailer. That's what we gotta find out. Alright, let's move up. We'll check the prison first, and if he's not in- Eyes on the soldier with the submachine gun. Close to the parking area. I wonder what those lock icons are. Anyway, we'll check the prison, and if he's not there, we'll continue to check the rest of the camp. Systematically. Piecemeal. This feels so risky. One more drone. One more flyby. Sniper up in the tower. Oh, shit. Is he gonna spawn us? Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. Got a tango. Good to go. God damn, that was close. Hang back, that tango might spot you. Alright, let's move up. I'm getting real nervous out here. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! Sniper! Oh, thank God. He's on the other side of the watchtower. He's got a blind spot. And we're inside of it. Alright, time to move inside of the prison. Let's switch to the Sky Rage, because that's far better for close quarters combat. You know, I do have a super shorty shotgun. Super shorty shotgun would be pretty legit right now. Is this him? No, he's got a boonie. That ain't no rebel leader. Why the hell isn't this guard questioning that the gate's open? Yo, your prisoner's walking out, man. Si te mueves, estás muerto. Entiendes? You know anything? Nah, he doesn't know shit. It's pretty ironic that we got the same uniform on. <laughs> <laughs> I want some serious stealth mechanics added to this game, though. Like, if I am wearing the, that uniform, I should, uh, I should be disguised as one of their own, you know? I should be walking around here, them not knowing who I am, them thinking I'm one of the guards. Massive, will you please go to the movie theaters and watch Logan? Well, if the chat room asks me to, I will. But chat room, what I really want to see is, uh... Kong Skull Island. 
I got two movies I really want to see in the theaters, Kong Skull Island and Logan, and I don't know how I haven't gotten my ass around the theater yet. So I was gonna see Kong Skull Island, um, a couple days ago. I think it was last week, be Thursday. Guy. See what he knows. Oh shit, this is him? Oh no, one of my guys found him. Beautiful. Unidad bird on patrol. Watch uh, out. I was gonna watch it Thursday, Chris. but... What the fuck is going on here? Uh, Mass Effect, the early access trial came out. Even though it was supposed to come out the day after. Maybe it was Wednesday. Carajo, who the fuck are you? We're your best chance of stopping these motherfuckers. I'm looking for General Baro. Mierda. I used to be on that pendejo stuff. He came to my birthday party once, but he's a cocksucker now. <laughs> where do we find him? No sé. I don't know where he is. But he has a daughter, the only family that viejo has left. She's a government paper pusher in some speck of a village in Flor de Oro. What the hell name does she use? Ah, Erendira. Erendira Buendia. You can use her to get to General Baru. Gracias. Good luck. So, it's his job to get out of here? That's suicide. Roman. That former Unidad captain told us that General Barro has a daughter who goes by the name Erendira Buendia. She's living in a village in Flor de Oro, working as a civil servant. I've got the activity working on it now. Get a hold of the daughter. We can use her to urge General Barro to meet with us. She's a civilian bowman. We've got her cell phone. I'm sending you the data now. You'll be able to track her yourselves. Go get her, then get her father the general. Solid copy. Karen the Ice Queen. Damn. That's cold, Bowman. Just pulled up the cell of a civilian. I don't know if I like where this is going, but uh, shit, if it gets it done. Oh my god. Locating the general's fucking daughter. Yo, a new need with a minigun. Over by the parking area. Ah, oh, fuck, that's where I'm going. Parking area. You got a minigun, Operation you say? King Slayer has all the shit. makings of a political mess. We sure stepped in shit this time. It's when the bureaucrats start asking us to bend morals and laws that I start to worry. But politicians do it all the time. That's because politicians already have somebody ready-made to take the fall. You mean us, don't you? You mean <laughs> this time it's us. Great. Goddamn right. Yo, I like my team members. I like them. I like their banter. Dutch, Scooter, Bob. They're cool. They're cool. I like their personality. How the hell are we gonna now? Bird approaching. Stay down. Shit. We gotta find a way out of here. A safe way. <laughs> Save away. Ah. Oh god! Ah run! Run, 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 run! Oh Jesus Christ! Gah. Gah. Shit! Back it up, they're gonna Shit! Oh, they're gonna spot me. They're gonna fucking fuck. Frag fuck! Out. Fuck! You know what? We're driving out of here. <laughs> We're already hot! Let's move! Let's go, 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 go! Are they in the car? Fuck it. I'm leaving without you, sons of bitches! Never liked you anyway! Oh god, I can't drive this thing. It's too fucking slow. Where is the... Shit, there's the front gate. There's the front gate. Oh dear god. <laughs> the idiots opened it up. Beautiful. Beautiful! Oh my god. I can't believe that. Oh, uh, well, they're probably gonna send some helos after us, but I think we're good. I'm gonna say, damn, they're really persistent, aren't they? I mean, the truck's already shot up, guys. You really want to pursue this thing? You don't want to pursue this. Oh shit, cartel. <laughs> truck's total. Fucking hell. Fuck. They good? Beautiful. Now we steal our car. Get the hell out of here. Just like ghosts. Very noisy ghosts. A lot of bullet holes. Helicopter, nice. Ah, oh shit. Oh shit. I am just not good at staying in cover, am I? I lost a patrol, picked up another one. It is totally my style. Guys, guns down, please. For Pete's sake, you're not helping out, alright? I know I'm not Sam Fisher, master of self, but you sons of bitches are going to college. Bonus points to whoever gets that uh, reference, but no, seriously, y'all. You sons of bitches, with your guns, hopping out of these windows. I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. We're not going to make it past Border Patrol, so let's just leave the car here. Oh, fuck. Almost spotted my ass again. Hang back, we see you. Whew. Hey, let's go hunting. Look at all these animals. 
Damn it. Can't even go hunting. I can hunt humans okay, but animals, out of the question. Anyway, uh, guys. We, um, we had some, we had some troubling times in this live stream, but we had some good times. We got a new gun, which I'm excited to make more use of. This is the beauty right here. FN-17. Or Mark 17, but it, it's it's an FN Scar H. It's a wonderful rifle. I'm gonna get some uh, attachments for this before our next live stream. But in our next adventure, the Ghost Recon Wildlands, I'm going to be killing a general, and also the Ghost Recon Wildlands development team has forwarded some challenges to me. So if I accept the challenges, I am going to get my ass handed to me. My girlfriend and I are gonna try to do them. I'm gonna accept. Uh, some of them are really really hard. I'm gonna try to pick the hardest ones. But, uh, I'm not going to give any details of the challenges yet, because that's a surprise. It's going to be a lot of fun, though, if pulling your hair out is a lot of fun. Regardless, while it's still daylight, I'm going to uh, go outside, get some fresh air, get some shooting in, um, pack a sandwich, because I am absolutely starving. And in our next adventure, if you guys join us for it, we're going to be killing a general, and it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty badass. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, if you want to see more Ghost Recon Wildlands, or more live streams in general, subscribe, leave a like, and it's time for shoutouts, so let's do that. If you guys enjoyed the live stream, though, let me know in the chat room, because I would like to see that. I'm good to go. And if you guys... Oh, jumping ship. Look at that, you see that? Where those fish go? Wait. Oh, yeah. Make me look like a liar. That's, as soon as I'm looking at the water, stop jumping. That's great. I swear they were jumping fish just a second ago. Anyway, if you guys want some shout-outs... Oh! There they are. You can kind of see them in the distance. It's really difficult because it's so dark. If you guys want some shout-outs, let me know because I'm giving them out. It's Halloween, and instead of candy, I'm giving out shout-outs. Which is really shitty. I'd rather have candy. Oh, shit. It's 610. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm Shit, setting up the timer. Shout out Soding Now! Shout out to Lele Wolf! Shout out to Adam Contreras! Shout out to Hi2! Isn't that a. Isn't that a, like a gum flavor? Like a Starburst? Shout out to. Herabine One Gay! Shout out to Silver Mustang 99! Shout out to Sam Cohen! Shout out to No Remorse! Shout out to Amused to Death! Uh, no, we, uh, didn't, uh, actually join the unit, the Unidad. I thought we'd be able to utilize the costume to slip all past right, the security forces, but unfortunately that actually isn't a mechanic in the game. That doesn't exist, so. We did infiltrate the Unidad, though. We infiltrated their, oh shit, look at that. We actually have heat distortion. We infiltrated their largest bases, and one of their underground data centers, which is pretty sweet. And, yeah, we, uh, basically just wreaked havoc which is pretty fun, but I really wish that there was a feature in the game that allowed you to utilize the Unidad costume that we have to actually be disguised and slip past the defenses unnoticed upon closer inspection. Uh, I'm actually gonna... I don't even know if Ghost Recon de uh, development team reads those types of emails, but I'm gonna email them and I'm gonna ask them if we could get one, the ability to move bodies and hide them, like you can in Splinter Cell, two, the ability to actually have costumes and vehicles act as a disguise or proper cover. If you get too close, they'll spot you, they'll figure it out, but from a moderate distance, they will mistake your disguise or your vehicle as one of their own if it's proper. I think that would be a wonderful addition to the game. I don't know if that's something that they would think about adding, but I'm definitely going to ask them because I think it would be really cool. I think it would be very useful. 